All right, so one of my favorite topics is always chocolate. Chocolate is like, to me, something that I just like to eat daily. Couple things about chocolate. Number one, as you know, it's rich in theobromides, which is great for metabolism. The other thing, it's an antioxidant. Additionally, there's other different types of polyphenols that are in chocolates that are amazing for heart health. It's one of the best beneficial things that you can, that you can actually consume. At the same time, it tastes freaking amazing. That said, we've got all sorts of different types of cacao things. In fact, we've got the new, this is a new product. We've just been trying this out called Gudio, all right? And so a couple of unique things about it, it's very, very much so a craft chocolate. So it's a little bit different as far as its packaging is concerned. The taste is absolutely amazing. Some of my other favorites, by the way, is endangered species. This particular company does some really cool things on donating and helping take care of animals that are endangered in the jungles and areas where they get it from. So for those mics Mike, being here, I still got to always have some type of a, a keto crisp for them. So this is a cocoa wafers. It actually has keto crisp in it as well too. But one of the things I always wondered was this. First of all, what does cocoa look like? So here's a couple of things. When you look at this, here's typically cocoa. And these are the beans and they've been harvested. They, um, they typically just take these and cut these up into pieces when they're ripe. And so from that, they'll actually do a couple of things. They'll actually kind of heat it up. They actually can pull out a fat from it, which is called the cocoa uh, butter. And so I thought I'd bring you a little bit of cocoa butter so you can check this out and ultimately have maybe a look at this. And by the way, this butter is literally edible. I use it for making cosmetics, but you can actually eat this butter. This is the butter itself. Uh, so it's the pure from the pure cocoa bean. Absolutely kind of mild in its flavor but it almost tastes like a little bit of a butter flavor. But what's so exciting today, we actually end up getting a cocoa pod. And so this is like from per Peru, I believe is where it's from. Yeah. So it's from Peru. I hear, I, I, we're just understanding that it's not quite right. But that said, I've always been curious to what's inside a cocoa pod. So here we go. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna dig in, we're gonna have a look at it. And so these are the actual cocoa beans that are in the pods. And as they come out, you can actually kind of sit there and have a look at this and see this. And here it is coming out. And you look at this color once again, it's not 100% ripe. It's kind of got this like slimy outside moment to it. You start digging in here and you actually start seeing the bean itself. The bean itself is that dark cocoa color. And there it is, you can see. There's our cocoa right, right there in, on the spot. You know, a lot of times we have a tendency to, you know, go up to a tree and pick like a lime or some type of a, an orange or something like that, apple, especially in California, and those things are always available. But the last thing I've never, you know, and the last thing I ever thought I'd be able to do is actually open up a cocoa pod and see some raw chocolate coming out of it. So pretty cool moment, thought we'd share it with you. Thanks for watching this episode.